Family Forward offers services that help parents and children build healthy relationships. Joining us is CEO Karen Nolte and Chief Development Officer Jessica Dieter. Welcome, Jessica and Karen. Thank you. So Family Forward is new, brand new, but not really brand new. Lots of roots in our community. The merger of two really distinct and important um, organizations um, to St. Louis. So Jessica, you were with the Family Resource Center Karen with the Children's Home Society, you guys have now merged organizations. So let's talk a little bit about um, the prior to the merge, what each of your organizations represented. Jessica, do you want to give us a Sure. Uh, Family Resource Center has a 40 plus year history in the community, was created to treat the psychological scars of child abuse and neglect. And over the years, we developed strategies and evidence-based practices to do a lot of work with the prevention of child maltreatment as well and uh, so we were really excited to partner with another leader in the community who works in the same space that we do so we do a lot of things with children uh, with their families either biological foster or adoptive to help them uh, heal from the trauma that they've experienced or help prevent some of uh, the abuse and neglect that does go on in our community very good. And Children's Home Society, tell us a little bit about that, Karen. Children's Home Society was founded in 1891, so we are more than 125 years old. Our history um, comes from the orphan trains that you hear about in the United States, children in the East Coast who were in need of homes and literally were on trains that came through the country and were um, with social workers who were helping those children find homes. And oftentimes um, agencies sprung up from state to state to help with those uh, early infant adoptions. And so we have continued in that frame um, until this day, until our merger. We do a lot of work with children in the foster care and adoption arena. Um, most of those children have experienced some type of trauma or neglect. So as Jessica mentioned, um, child abuse, trauma, we have really worked in the same uh, vein of services uh, for a long time. And that was one of the reasons we began really talking to each other uh, beyond just being partners in providing services to something more. Yeah, so merging the two organizations is a lot of work, and we've been talking a little bit about that off camera, but the important thing is the reason for the merger, and as you stated, Karen, there was um, a synergy already. Absolutely, we had done some work as partners um, on projects to serve similar children, and each time our agencies worked together, our staff really worked well with each other. We had a lot of respect for the services at each other's organization. And as we continued to talk and look at the challenges that nonprofits face these days, it made sense for us to work together. Um, the main reason was not uh, any struggles that the agencies were having, but coming from a position of power. We felt that our services were complementary without being uh, overlapping and that we could do that better together. It's also really important, we believe, for the work of integrating services to be that of the agency and not individuals who are seeking help. So the less families have to go from one place to another to another to get help, and the more we can make that seamless for them, then the better services we're going to provide. Mm -hmm. So, Jessica, did you actually merge two different physical spaces into one, or is that in progress right now? It has been more about merging our work together and mm -hmm. our culture together. Uh, now, to, as we are family forward, we actually have six physical sites and okay. locations where our staff work and where our work is done. And how many employees total? 182. Okay, so everybody's now part of one big family providing yes. a more varied um, um, list of resources, I suppose, right? It's kind of grown. Yes, together we, we do offer services that complement what each other did. Um, they are better, as Karen mentioned, for the children and for the families, and it allows us to be very deep and very good and very rich at the work we do, which provides better services and better outcomes for the children and families. Yeah, very good. We're gonna take a quick break right now, and then we're gonna come back and talk a little bit more about Family Forward moving ahead, moving forward. So stay with us at SDL Live. We'll have more with Karen and Jessica and Family Forward after this break.